Hi everyone, today I am going to show you a basic formula of trigonometry generally that we use very much in many of the computations but many of us are not aware of the fact that how these things are getting derived we simply blindly use the formula. Today I will show you through an example how this, the how this formula is getting derived. Sin 60 and sin 30 and same can be applied for cos, cot, tan, whatever. I am considering an equilateral triangle. What is an equilateral triangle? Let the triangle be ABC. So for an equilateral triangle, all of its sides are equal. So all AB, AC and BC, these sides are equal. At the same time, all the angles of an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees, right? So angle A, angle B, angle C, everything. So for deriving this, what I am doing, I am just dropping a perpendicular from A on the base BC which is intersecting the base BC at D. So AD is a perpendicular which is on the base BC. For an equilateral triangle we know that perpendicular from the opposite vertex divides the base equally. So that means D is the midpoint of BC. That means BD equal to CD. That means BD equal to CD. D is dividing the base BC equally. Now Using Pythagoras theorem, if I consider the triangle ADC, right, so angle C is 60 degree, so for sine formula we know sine 60 degree equal to perpendicular, that is AD divided by AC, correct, AC is the hypotenuse, AD is the perpendicular. So, now applying Pythagoras theorem, what we can say? From the same triangle, we can write it as AD square plus CD square. So AD square equal to square root of AC square minus CD square. Correct? So what is CD now? CD is same as BD. Correct? Because D is the midpoint. So CD equal to BD, which is nothing but half of the side BC. Correct? So BC equal to AC equal to AB since this is an equilateral triangle. So it can be written as half of the other side. It can be written as half of AC. Correct. So if I from this formula, if I try to write this way, which is nothing but square root of AC square minus AC by 2 whole square. That means AC square by 4 which is equal to AD square. That means it is basically nothing but root over 3 by 4 into AC square. Which, what is that? That is AD square. So basically it is not AD square, it will be AD. Okay? So it becomes to root over 3 by 2 into AC. Correct? So the sign formula which is getting derived from here is sin 60 equal to AD by AC which is nothing but root over 3 by 2 into AC divided by AC equal to root over 3 by 2. So this is very simple how we are deriving the formula sin 60. Similarly, from the same context we know this perpendicular also equally divides the angle A into two parts that means angle BAD equal to angle DAC equal to 30 degree because this angle this AD line equally divides the angle A into two parts so 30 and 30 both this part is 30 and this part is also 30. So if we consider that also so now we have already derived sin 60 equal to root 3 by 2 so I am removing this section and let us find it out how we can find out sin 30. So angle DAC equal to 30 degree. So sin 30 is nothing but again if we have to calculate sin of this angle then it should be CD by AC right. CD is nothing but half of AC already we have seen in the previous part it is half of AC that is by AC and it is simply half. So this way we can find it out sin 30 equal to half and sin 60 equal to root 3 by 2. So obviously 
if we want to find out the cos of 60 degree and cos of 30 degree so it will be just square root of 1 minus sin square 30 degree so it is nothing but square root of 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4 it is root 3 by 2 and similarly we can find out cos 60 degree equal to root over 1 minus uh, sorry it will be 1 minus sin square 60 degree that is root over 1 minus 3 by 4 equal to half. So this is a very simple way we can prove this why this sin cos tan cot of these acute angles are how we are deriving this formula and using many in uh, many of our equations for resolving the trigonometrical identities and equations. So if you like this video I will request everyone to watch it give your comments like and subscribe my channel as well. Thank you.